eighth grade again reading as worse as it ever been below basic right and lowest proficiency math eighth grade and damn math got worse in eighth grade math got way worse math worse as it's ever been 39 percent with only 20 percent being proficient <laughs> i am a human but i identify as a dog being a handler is basically someone who is in a position where they're just taking care of someone else. It doesn't have to be anything romantic. It doesn't have to be anything like For me, it's very strictly platonic. We all are aware of the very difficult job market that fresh high school and college graduates of 2025 have found themselves in. It's very easy for us that are older to wag our fingers at these young people and say, you should have zagged instead of zigged, or you should have done X instead of doing Y. But the truth is, they did what they were told. So we can't necessarily blame them 100%. Some of the onus lies in us because we allowed people, young ladies, to think that they were cats and dogs. Good job. Two of us met at a rave about um, a month or so ago. <laughs> I was just talking about that. The Book It program, Book It was serious, man. That little personal pan pizza, that, that free pizza, man. <laughs> I don't know what. Mm, mm. <laughs> that little personal pan pizza tastes better than listen salute to mr fantastic he began his stream talking about the whole teacher bay thing with the teachers wearing the tight fitting dresses in school looking to go viral because you know everyone is hungry for young ladies wearing that kind of stuff but then he got to the main point of his stream which was the test scores and what happened pre and post 2019 and the scores aren't very good but in Mr. Fantastic fashion, he reminisced on the personal pan pizzas from Pizza Hut to get us to read during the summer. And yes, back when Pizza Hut was good, those personal pan pizzas were mwah. This is a question from the National Assessment of Educational Progress eighth grade test marked hard for difficulty. Which three of the following points all lie in the same line on an XY plane? Of course, all you need to do is to plot all the points and see which points fall in a line and the answer is b d and f how many students got this question correct 30 percent this second question marked difficulty hard for eighth graders ask in which of the following equations does the value of y increase by six units when x increases by two units or more simply said when y goes up by three units x goes up by one unit y equals 3x right Unfortunately, that was only the case for 20% of the students answering this question. I am a human, but I identify as a dog. Hark. This moderately difficult algebra question marked hard for difficulty for eighth graders in 2013 ask, fill in the table below so that the points with coordinates X and Y all lie on the same line. Of course, when we hear line, we should think Y equals MX plus B, and then we just play around with the numbers so that we find out what M is and what B is, and we figure out that m is 4 and then b equals minus 1 and then we're easily able to fill in the 7 and 11 but that only happened for one out of every three students for us in particular it's very simple just little head pets here and there this question from 2024 marked difficulty medium martin has two pictures shown the pictures are not drawn to scale the shape of picture one is a square the shape of picture two is a rectangle that is not a square okay the area of each picture is 36 square inches. Do we know our times tables, ladies and gentlemen, in the eighth grade? If one picture is a square, it has six by six and one is a rectangle. I would guess nine by four, right? And that happened for 37% of the kids taking this test. We could not help but be awed by China's spectacle of their 80 year commemoration of the ending of World War II. The precision and discipline that was shown was something that many of us had never seen before. And the thing that you have to remember is that every single one of the people that we saw in this commemoration parade, they were school kids and they were prepared for this. While we're preparing our children for nothing beats a jet to you holiday. The way they're teaching them now is just ass backwards. It makes no sense. It's counterproductive and counterintuitive. But you see that right there. Um, now let's go to um, 
black students. Moderately difficult question for grade eight year 2024. The bar graph shows the number of various beverages sold in the cafeteria. The price for each beverage is listed below. Milk $1, lemonade $1.50, water $1.50, which of the following amounts is the best estimate for the total amount of money the cafeteria collected from beverage sales? So 160 milks at a dollar each is gonna be about 160 plus another 100 lemonades and 150. So that's gonna be a right around 300. And then we got almost 200 waters at a dollar 50, which is right at 300. Should be 600, right? 29% of the students said that. Tug of war. It seems pretty normal, at least for us, I'd say. And this question for data analysis, statistics, and probability difficulty hard for eighth graders in 2024. Mary tossed the fair coin 100 times, the coin landed heads up 60 times, tails up 40 times. What is the probability that the next toss of the coin will land heads up? Of course, we know that the previous 100 tosses don't matter at all. And there are two sides of the coin, one over two, right? 26% of the kids got that answer. There are obviously the pet play handlers, like the side handlers, but there's also the ones that can be relationship wise. I'm not in a relationship. I tried going through the handler relationship thing. It just, it wasn't it for me. As you saw, the questions that I chose for this particular video are the more difficult questions that are not straightforward. They require some deeper thinking, if you will, that you have to extract information and then make a proper decision based on the information you, you have gathered. And in an environment where young kids are being told that they can be animals and they can choose their sexuality and they can choose which bathrooms they're going to go into, if they're having difficulty with these kinds of questions, then how can they make decisions that are going to shape the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years of their lives when they cannot deduce a linear graph equation from a set of points that have been provided to them? Simply put, the kids are being lied to. 23% of, of, of black students and 32% of Latinx students show proficiency in reading compared to 82% of their white classmates. Now, the biggest thing, what's the biggest problem out of this? Black people, tell me what's the biggest problem in this. To be fair, the numbers that Mr. Fantastic are reciting come strictly from the District of Columbia. And when you look at the math numbers, it's even worse. 11% proficiency for black children, 19% for Latino children versus the 75%. Of course, a lot of that probably has to do with many government officials having their children there. But that said, it's still America. My numbers obviously come from a wide ranging study, which is averaging out children from many different states taking that particular test. All things considered, however, Black children are testing the worst. What is the biggest red flag in this, bro? Come on now, chat participation, chat participation. We got, we got, we we got to answer this. Shit. Like it should be right there, clear as day. The eighty-two. How the hell does Jorge, Maria, Pedro, Alejandro, Marisol read English better than black students? How does somebody where we know us? A substantial amount of them, English is their second language and is last. Good afternoon. Respectfully, you college educated. We don't give a fuck about nothing you got going on. Y'all love to flaunt y'all degree. I got this, a master's degree. So I, I need this from I'm not accepting the bare minimum. Y'all love telling a little bit about your life and not the full story about your life. Tell us how you fuck the bare minimum. How your baby father's a who stands up and goes in front of the liquor store all day, don't got no job, who's been using a bar of soap that's flattered in my ass for the past seven days because he has no money. Why you didn't tell us that shit? since you so smart, smarty pants? You don't care about no smart shit you got going on if you turn around and do some dumb shit. Golden State done won 73 games and fucked around and lost the championship. So do you think they give a fuck about them 73 games? You think them shit count? All them age you was getting in school we don't care because all you was getting outside was these i can't say i condone the way the young lady chose to voice her opinion about the bragging about education when these kinds of numbers are coming out and it's clear that many of the young african-american kids that are being raised in single parent homes mostly by women who are bragging that they're the most educated performing worse than latino kids many of them learning lessons in their second language is is a scathing indictment. And it's very unfortunate, but the only thing we could say is that's the facts. That's the truth on the ground. 
young black kids are performing the worst out of all the kids that are being measured by these tests. And the truth is they're being lied to, being told that they can be anything, that they can do anything they want, that they can find success if they just believe hard enough. These are the same children that are deciding how they're going to be sexually for the next 15, 20, 25 years when they're underperforming on simple math tests. We have to tell these kids the truth. And if we can't tell the kids are the real truth, where we are in America, we have to go somewhere where we can tell them the truth that if you don't study your behind off, you're going to fall behind. And it doesn't matter if you want to be a cat, dog, tree, molecule of water. If you don't know how to do this math, you're going to get left behind. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you next video.